everyone how are you doing <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry about saturday i was so sore and i just couldn't sit at the table but i'm here today that's the main thing i'm here today okay let me just scroll on up and see who's here again if you're a new sub and i have had a few messages from new subs so welcome to the channel and it's um a community channel so there's lots and lots of people in chat okay so hi kenny hi your cat hi ashley and jamie hi your rebel hi your melody hi bridget <laughs> hi your d pickle connie miranda linda shannon kelly gail lots and lots of you already you're always here before me i'm like i'm always late to my own party how are you all doing happy new year guys happy new year i hope it's been kind to you uh, as you probably know us uh, us london and, and uk folks are back in lockdown <laughs> it's just can i swear <laughs> no so it's fine it's fine <laughs> think we're becoming used to it hiya pamela and thank you so much pamela happy new year you know what for <laughs> oh, sh oh bless you hello my loves okay so hopefully we'll be finishing this lovely lady today and what i also wanted to be doing i've got some um happy happy mail that i've ordered and come um so i want to swatch these out after i finish my girl if i've got time if I haven't, I'll do it on the next stream. Um, ah, oh, thank you, my love. Okay, so one, I've still got two come in. One and two K of gelatos. It's gelato January. What happened? <laughs> so I've got the me metallics and the pastels. Um, so I want to, I want to have a go at them. I want to just swatch them out. I'll have a play then on Saturday. And then I also ordered, I don't know if you guys have seen these colours, but these are really beautiful colours. So these are the Jelly Roll Moonlight, but I think they're called Cosmos. Um, hold on, let's see the colours. Let's see the colours. Okay. Um, so they're like a more of a natural palette. I don't know if you can see that without it like being all... Let's try that way. So it's like these earthy, more natural tones. Really beautiful hello bethany hi you guys coming on in ah oh, they're lovely aren't they so i want to swatch them as well so what i've done in my big book of colors um my chart so if you've not seen this uh, this is the ruby charms and i've put at the back a place for the jelly roll so i've just tabbed it and i've also put one for the gelatos which i hope are not messy but i'll put a page in between so i've done I thought about doing the gelatos in the bigger circles so that we've got more room and um we'll have a little a little swatch before i came on stream i'd painted my nails and then i had a biro that burst on me like literally just went poof, all over my finger i was like oi <laughs> oi <laughs> how dare you um so hopefully if we finish her early enough if not it'll be saturday but i got them anyway they come they come hello joey hi everyone coming on in welcome i hope you're having a good what day are we tuesday feels like one big big huge day to me i don't even know what day it is it's just one day to the other um but yes those jelly rolls are really beautiful and what i did start so saturday friday saturday i was i just didn't do anything um sunday and monday i have been doing this um it's my first ever dog look and this is colored pencil and I, I don't ask me how to pronounce the breed i know you're all going to sound it out to me i still can't say it it's a we're a, a we marinera <laughs> don't ask i can't say it but it's this part and i'm doing it on pastel map board um and this is with bonnie snowden so i will put her channel after the stream and she's just amazing if you want to grow your colored pencil art from scratch and i mean from scratch i mean look how thick this board is guys it's like let me come up um this board is like cardboard i'm not even kidding you um and this is from scratch and honestly it's such a learning curve for me and i've never done anything like this before so 
yeah, I'm having fun. Um, so I started that Monday, Tuesday, and then I continue, but I'm going to do like bits and bobs as I go along. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. If you really, honestly, I am so out of my comfort zone. It's unbelievable. So if you want to try anything to grow your skills, I suppose, in, in animals, and, and this is very short fur and texture, um, I would highly recommend a Weimar Rhino. Thank you so much. A Weimar why ma rena there you go i think i've got it right this time i can never say it and i know that sounds pathetic but it's one of those words that just doesn't come off of my tongue very well um but yes that's bonnie snowden and that is three and a half hours work and also i want to give a shout out to heli <laughs> she's so sweet i've been i couldn't help myself so <laughs> she sent me this little bag and it's got like snacks inside and, and I didn't want to take anything out but I couldn't help myself and I kind of ate the marshmallows um, and she sent like these little snacks and a lot of them are sugar free and obviously a card and some teas and a little something for chip and some hot drinks so there's snacks and hot drinks Once one little thing for Andrew and one little thing for chip and I thought that was so sweet so Helly thank you so much oh my god it's so it's so thick eskies so i wanted to show you before i like dismantle my bag of goodies but thank you so much helly they will be eaten and they will be drank <laughs> hi your honor and now i'm just going to shove one of these in my mouth okay so what we're going to be doing is finishing her up hopefully she's an amazing woman kenny she's so sweet <laughs> i kind of did I love marshmallows, but I have to have the sugar free ones. So, um, where were we? We were on these parts, weren't we? And the ground, and then her pearls. Right. So we're using the Carandash Aquarel um, Museums. Yeah, she's so lovely. She comes in. I'll have to like. Obviously, I've messaged her. <laughs> But yeah, big shout out to Helly. She's she's so sweet. And yeah, she's hi Alila. She's a lovely, lovely, lovely person. If you don't know Helly and you're new to the community, she's an absolute sweetheart. Okay, so I started. Oh my god, it, it always does this. You know when it's got too much to focus on, it kind of flashes out. Hold on, guys. It does this, and then you have to refocus the um the brightness it flashes out two two seconds sorry about the yo-yoing this is what i have to do um there you go it kind of has to refocus on color and it then it goes into flash out mode again oh it drives me mad when it does this never mind right so we were down here and hopefully it won't flash out so much we might have to put the um what can we put in the screen bear with me everyone i have to get my lighting right before before we do anything hold on guys hold on hold on sorry about this it's live live never goes according to plan as we all know never does never never does right <laughs> this is what i have to do it has to uh, focus on the on the colors is it i think it's returned to normal hurrah okay we got normality right there you go <laughs> okay we can start again now we'll just scrap what just happened and start again okay so we're on this part that she's got her skin showing through the fins and we've got to do these fins haven't we and then we've got to do the ground as well which i want to do stony <laughs> is live live always does something okay so the museums i've got my book of colored charts and i'm going to stick that over the side of me so i can see and we're going to have a look at some stony colors so my thoughts are maybe something like an 
a brown olive brown and a brown ochre something around those lines um so olive brown is or is it brown olive might be brown olive or olive brown i think it's olive brown so i'm just talking out loud olive brown brown ochre those colors it's sort of like stony colors oh thank you i really enjoyed these the eyes were so cute um okay so i'm gonna go down on the paper first and then we'll pick up some off the board um ba -ba -ba, if things could just like jump out of me it'd be brilliant um okay so brown olive 50 i think and brown ochre and then if we need a lightning one we can maybe go for some saffron or some something we'll have a go okay so hi you winchester sorry i didn't see you earlier yeah i've nearly finished my diamond painting i'll have to show you that as well okay so first off i'm going to go for brown olive 50 and remember if there's any fit for me please stick it in big caps um because otherwise i'll miss it and i hate to miss if anything is aimed at me but how you all been i hope you've all been okay i hope you've been trying to keep yourself busy now I, I don't like resolutions um i haven't got a resolution as such just personal little things that i'd like to happen this year um but one of my little would like to happen this year uh is to do more of my own art and um whether that be through tutorials but following along to sort of grow my skills in a way i'd like to do that more um i haven't got coloring goals i wouldn't say i've got coloring goals hello becky <laughs> well not kind kind of not <laughs> hi adela um so i haven't really got coloring goals as i was saying i think what i'd like to do is just continue to enjoy myself you know and i always say that as cliche as that is if something's enjoyable then it's going to make me want to come back to it you don't stick to things that aren't so if i start giving myself some crazy goals and i'm not enjoying it then it's going to lose my oomph um so i was like looking at everyone's goals and i was like oh you're all so good i can't be doing them not this year hello we were talking about you my love <laughs> i was showing your little bag of snacks i didn't want to dismantle it all although i did eat most of the marshmallows <laughs> i was trying not to <laughs> i kind of ate them um but thank you so much that was so sweet and I was just trying to keep it together in a bag so I could show the lovelies. Just, you know, I like to show because it's appreciation for me, unless someone states otherwise. <laughs> yeah, you've all had a marshmallow. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, I was, I was so, oh, it was so tempted the other day because I was laying on the sofa for the majority of the day and they were just there. And I was like, I could just eat them. And I did kind of dibble into them, but yeah, <laughs> just so funny. Okay, Becky, lurk away, hon. Okay, so what I'm doing is going around my stones with the olive brown 50 and into the majority, I'm going to say. And then, you know, like the edge of these fins, I'm going to try and... Just put a dibble of colour in there. I'll say a dibble. We've just made a word up. A dibble of colour. Just so that it looks like it's the ground. But I'm using the lightest hand. Hiya, Terry Lynn. Happy New Year, everyone. I didn't get the chance to say it out loud. So I'm going to say it now. And I hope that this year is very good to you. And um, no matter what's going on in the world. Right now. Just... Uh, Try and stay safe, stay happy, focus on yourself, focus on your families, and uh, things shouldn't be as bad that way. Okay, I'm going to come over to here, so my arm is going to go over what I've just done, but that's okay because it's dry. You can use these dry as well, don't, you know, you can use these wet or dry. So I'm just going to go in all those dark patches with this one, and we can always build the colour up, which is something that we probably will be doing. And the big stones, you can go kind of round. and yeah we'll, we'll work from that part but this is all those stony areas anyway 
I'd like to do a light wash of aquas and, and blues in the background. I've already got my heat gun beside me. Let's move. Whoopsie. Sorry, I just knocked my microphone. And we're going to probably need a little bit of a brown to deepen, especially if we've got like shadowed areas. But we just, you don't have to be neat if you're going to do the pigment with the water. If you're doing this more controlled, that's on your layer, you know, your layering. But for now, let's just worry about getting the pigment down. And then a very light coating can go over everything else. Right, so before I do anything else, I'm going to... Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, no, look away. Okay, brown ochre. Oh, nice. Hiya, Chica. That sounds nice, Lou. You've got the portrait set. Yep, what I did actually buy, I bought the gelatos. Um, so, two more are coming. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> and then I've got... Um, what, what else did I buy? Oh my gosh, let me look on my Amazon. Hold on, let me tell you what I've got. Oops, sorry. What did I buy? Oh, that was it. Some trace down papers, which sounds really boring. And it kind of is, but it's in white. So that when you transfer the image, and I'll show you what I mean, um, of the elephant on my big board, it's going to be in white on dark grey. Oh, that was what I ordered. It's one of the brushes for the gelatos you know the short they're like a short end Wilson good morning my lovely how are you doing that was what I was waiting for so with the gelato so I watched Karen Valentine um and she uses them dry and she uses them with a stiff brush um so I bought one of those stiff short bristled brushes stencil brushes that's the one I'm looking for And I'm going to try it with that. I, I, you can do so many things with them. I was watching various videos on them actually. And you could do various things with them. I'm so used to working with such a controlled hand. It's. I'm going to just turn my camera rather than turn the page. Um, I'm so used to working with pencils and being so controlled. When I have to use a medium that is less controlled, I have to get my mindset completely different. Is anyone else like that? So you've got to completely switch your mindset and just like let loose a bit. You could always be controlled on top of it, but for when you're laying down certain media, you have to completely let go of having control and just let everything like let loose on a page. And that's biggest thing with watercolors as well. Hi, Tonya. Oh, happy New Year to you, Bridget. Yeah, you've got to completely change your mindset on, on that. And I was thinking that when I was watching some of these videos, I was like, oh, it is changing mindsets completely. Completely. Just don't think about it. It's different to pencils, remember. So I'm looking forward to it, actually, because I sort of train my mind to be that way when I started doing more, more water media. And uh, loose watercolours... They really got me um, in the know on how to do that. <laughs> I was like, hiya Katrina and Candice, how are you doing? Happy New Year both of you. And a big shout out to our mods for 2020. They, um, they were amazing. Okay, so we've got some colour down. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to come out just a touch i got to move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I was like that. I was like, I must admit, it's so daunting when you start something new. I've got to move this microphone, guys. I'm just going to move it slightly to the side because it's in my way. 
and uh, I'm going to keep knocking it otherwise. Right, let me move that. Okay, I think that's better. Can you all still hear me? Because I have, uh, I've moved it. I've moved it. <laughs> Yay mods. Okay, so I'm going to apply some water. Um, and I'm working from my darkest colour for the minute, which is just, it's not dark, but it's the darker of the two. They're two different tones, which is precisely what I was looking for. And I'm just going to sort of circleish motion, work that into um, the ground. And as you come out, you can fade that out. And we're going to go again. And I say that like I have all the confidence in the world. No, I just want to. To be honest, I don't. I don't stress about it anymore. I'm. I used to sit there and I think, oh my gosh, what if this comes out wrong and it's live? Now it's like, well, if it does, it does. You move on. <laughs> I'm really not too fast anymore. I'm like, we'll learn. Okay, so I'm just going quite cautiously on my first layer. Hi, Karen, and thank you. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, we're, as I said, we're going to sort of brave what's coming in the UK. <laughs> and sort of just, um, my whole thing is now, I mean, in the last... I must admit, in the last year, I have not done as much as I'd wanted to because I just wasn't in that mindset. Um, but I think this year, I've definitely got more of a, right, just knuckle down, enjoy your hobbies. Um, you know, don't stress out about what you can't control. And I think that's what I'm looking forward to most is just kind of knuckling down and, and doing a little bit more than I, you know, anticipate that I would. So I have a goal to at least manage a page a month, which sounds absolutely insane, but if they're super detailed and a lot of work put into them, then that's quite a lot. So anything over that, I think that I'll just, you know, I'll be happy. But if I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. So I'm just working outwards. And I'm just going to um, add from the board after. So don't forget, I've still got to add quite a lot of colour. This is just a starting point for me. Okay, I'm going to come over here. And this is more of the brown olive. And because it's wet media, because I'm still working with it quite wet, I'm going to go over those fins as well, because don't forget, they're going to have some colour, because they are meant to be see-through. And you can, if you drag too much of the pigment in get your wet clean um, brush and just lift and you just literally do that by rolling it over and off there so run some through but remember we still got to do those and we got to do those um, quite like the, you can see through but still got the turquoisey colours in so I'm going to drag some pigment up but I'm going to lift off a little bit as well so just like it's going in, but not too much. Hi, Suze. Happy New Year, hon. Okay, so we're going to work that down. If you've got this calendar, are you using it as a working calendar or have you take, dismantled it like I have? And using it as just the images. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Colouring Heaven's got in store this year. Okay, so I'm going to drag a little bit more again into there it's like it's you know resting and then we're going to put some on the board and we're going to drag off there and I'm going to mix some colours on the board as well I think okay so just outwards so nice and light but still got some right so I'm going to grab my board also going to dry that very quickly I hope that's not too loud. This is a fairly quiet heat gun anyway. Alright, so we need something quite dark. So, I'm just looking at my colour chart. I think Castle Earth might be the right colour. Um, so, I'm going to put some Castle Earth on my board. And then, those two colours that I was just using, I'm going to just continue with them. So, my Olive Brown 50... 
and I'm separating them but we can mix sort of down here and then my brown ochre so castle earth um, brown olive 50 and then we might need a little bit of a lightning tone so I'm thinking maybe some raw sienna or hmm, no maybe some green ochre what's green ochre look like yeah, we'll go for some green ochre. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't know what I was doing, Kenny. <laughs> green ochre, which is more like a yellow, like a gold. Like that. So that's just going to be a bit of a lightning agent. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of the castle earth in first before I do anything else. So I'm just going to put in um, just some shadows before I, you know, do anything else. So I'm just sort of working my way through um, just to where there's a dark grey scaled area. And don't forget we can sort of work that out with. If I pick up some of that brown olive 50, I can kind of work off that as well. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of mix between the two and layer up a bit more. Don't forget they are watercolour, they're supposed to be a bit loose. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we just kind of work off that, because why not? And sorry, folks, I'm being so lazy this month. I haven't actually got a hashtag. <laughs> you know, sometimes I do the hashtags, and I've been so slack. I'm so sorry, but we could do more over on here and focus more on this than um, Instagram. So there's a silver lining, I suppose, to it all. Okay, so again, before I, you know, I need to build up over there anyway, so Castle Earth. I'm just going to drag a little bit into um, this fin with the brown olive. I don't know what they are. Are they fins or gills? So I'm just shadowing to start with before we build up, especially underneath her elbow. So that's going to be the, probably the highest amount. That's going to have the most. Um, okay. And that part. Let's get the castle earth on there. And the brown olive. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is just bring a little bit of that to the corner of that brown olive. So that's just the castle earth. And I'm going to kind of work that out into there as well so the good thing about the board is that you can mix um, you can mix on paper but it's a little bit harder to move so let's just uh, work with what we've got at the moment okay so I'm going to mix again I'm going to go to that mixed part and I'm going to bring that out And I'm going to pick up some raw, what, well, no, it wasn't raw sienna, what colour was that? Green ochre, and I'm just going to mix that into that brown ochre a little bit, so it's a bit goldy, and I'm going to dab that in, and I'm going to bring that outwards, just let you know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's okay, you could, Kaya. Oh, thank you. Well, don't I won't hold you to that, D. Wait till I get hold my <laughs> my hands on the gelatos. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Right, I'm just dabbing in. Okay. Um. Right. So I'm bringing the castle. And then I'm going to go a bit more on the underneath here. And the same with that bit. Okay, right. So let's pick up a little bit more pigment. And let's just. The thing is, you can wash this right outwards. Like, so just have a slight 
damp brush and just kind of mix it out. You'll fade the edges out anyway. So, okay, castle. And then brown olive 50. And <clears throat> let's dry that off. And I'm going to dab some of that on there as well. So it's not supposed to be, it's, you, it's supposed to be textured, isn't it? So I'm just going to, I'm going to dab, I'm going to dab. And the same over here, I'm just going to dab down. And over here as well. Oh, Debbie, that is so, oh, bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Han, and Happy New Year. That is very, very kind. Thank you. Okay, so just dab, dab, dab in. Oh, I've got, I've got a video to show you, but I forgot to upload it onto the computer. I had chip cam sorted out for today, um, but I, don't, I should have to show you on my phone. So when I've dried this, I'll show you chip cam. <laughs> I had a video to put on so I could have it on the screen. Uh, <laughs> oh God, he is such a diva. If you want a diva, you need to clone Chip. Um, so I've got a, I've got to show you that. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit more water into that because I want that quite watery, and I'm quite literally just dabbing, just like it would be. Hi, Ali. Sorry if I missed anyone and any comments. Um, my head's down with water. <laughs> Because it's, uh, you've got to be quite quick with it. Okay, so I'm just dabbing some of that in. So I'm just putting a bit of texture into the bottom. And like you've te you could tell, couldn't you, that you know you start off with hardly any colour. And then you work your way up into something. So because it's stones, I'm literally just dabbing in like a bit of texture. Because obviously we're going to go in with a bit of dry pencil. Um, and we've got to do the rocks as well. Who have I missed? Hi, Sherry. <laughs> yeah, you've seen this. <laughs> Hi, Mona. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. He was having an absolute nightmare yesterday at me. Oh, because I wouldn't. Uh... Oh, his his taste is still not there, but he's okay. Um, he's got this weird sensation in his mouth now that when he brushes his teeth. He has like a numbness. I don't know what that's about. Um, it kind of sends his mouth all numb. Uh, but yes, do you want to see Chip? Chip cam. Uh, but yeah, he's much better. He's still not got his taste revived and he still has his moments. But he's, he is much better. But don't forget with him as well. It just takes him that little bit longer just to fight anything off. But yeah, thank you. Okay, let me show you Chip. So, first off. I'm going to turn the, the lighting down. It might mess everything up, but... Okay, so this was Mr. Cuddlini's toy. I forgot to upload these onto um, the computer to show you on chip cam. So this was him uh, Saturday on the sofa with me. And then this was him yesterday. What? Ah. What? <laughs> oh, take care, Jamie. Ah. This is what I get at me. How can I help? He is just ridiculous. He will look at me. Oh, you diva. He is a diva. He's is. Wait for it. He is, um... I have to mute because the adverts. He is something else. So that's him at me because he wanted my attention. He couldn't get my attention. Then I went into bed and this is what I was faced with. Um, he'd taken over the, my side of the bed upside down. <laughs> I was like, Chip, do you know what? I had that all to put on chip cam today. I'm so sorry. I, couldn't, I, could, I completely forgot to put it on the computer. Okay. <laughs> so, he is soft and fluffy. <laughs> He is one ridiculous dog, I can tell you that. He is uh, just ridiculous. He's adorable, but he's ridiculous. Right. 
I forgot this bit is not dry. Hold on. So we've got to come back in there as well. Um, <laughs> spoil, yeah. He, uh, he demands, whoops, where did that go? Okay, stay with me, Mr. Heat Gun. Right, so, same colours. No, we're not going to swear away from those colours. All the fluffs. <laughs> All the fluffs. Oh, by the way, don't know if I did tell you or didn't tell you, can't remember. These museums do not fit in my crank sharpener, so if you're like me and you have the swordfish, doesn't fit in there. So I use the m &R hand, little hand one. So just a little point, pointer off that it does not fit in there. Okay, so we're going to go with Castle Earth. I don't know if that comes on screen. hope it does. Castle Earth. Hi, Christine. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a little bit on these stones. I know... I'll do a few for you, I won't do, because it might be a little bit tedious for you to sit and watch stones being done. Um, but, we'll do a few, and we'll, you know, build up on some of this colour. So, I'm going to put in Castle Earth on some. Yeah. Anyone else got dogs or cats that is complete and utter divas that demand your attention all the time? And that was because I was, you know, in the kitchen yesterday, that video. And I'd left him in the front room. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, that's okay. Lurk away. Anyone that needs to look, honestly, don't worry about it. You go about your days. I'm here in the background. <laughs> oh, you had one like that with a cat. Well, hopefully not, Shan. <laughs> but you never know. Okay, so these will be outlined in white, but we couldn't do that until we've done uh, we've done the background bit, the, the floor. Okay, so we'll do like these stones and this side, and we'll kind of show you what it'll look like at the end. Then we'll pop them back on over to the brown olive 50. Yeah, I can't, I don't know, it's like they sense it in us, they know that we're their slaves. Um, you know, we are, we are their slaves, it's like, I don't know, they've only got to give us those eyes, and the personality, and we, we kind of fall for it, I know I do, every time, he's only got to look at me, he's only got to look at me, and I'm just like, stop being so blooming cute, and I know not everyone's a pet person, you know, and I totally understand, well, I don't actually, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I was about to say, I understand, I don't, <laughs> I just, I don't, personally, but if you're not, you're not, <laughs> I don't understand, um, I just love animals, period, I don't care what animal it is, I will save a frog in a, <laughs> I will stop traffic in the road for a frog, <laughs> that's what I do, <laughs> oh gosh, it's like I listen to some vlogs and they're like, I hate dogs. And I'm like, oh no, don't say that. <laughs> How can you? But if you do, you do. But I don't understand it. Sorry. That's just, that's the difference. That's the difference. That's why we're all different. But no. Oh, I couldn't eat them. I could for a million. <laughs> or if I was going into like a celebrity jungle thing, but no. But not everyone's, you know, pet people. Not everybody. Ah, Vera. <laughs> oh, so sweet. You have two needy dogs. Can't go anywhere without... Yeah. Can't go to the bathroom in peace, right? They're at your feet. Yeah, so funny. Okay. Then I'm going to pick up my brown ochre. Here. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just pretend they're like pieces of chicken. And even then, it's funny because uh, has anyone ever tried vegetarianism? Um, just, just curious. Or is anyone here a veggie? I, I did. I was. I was a vegetarian for a year. Um, and I didn't miss me. I can't say I missed it. Not at all. But 
I walked past a cafe, so like a diner in, in the US, and um, they had the smell of bacon. And it was like a year and a bit later. And I just couldn't resist the smell. And funnily enough, I didn't even eat bacon, because I don't even eat bacon much. Um, it was just the smell of it. And then <laughs> we went to eat out, me and Andrew, because this was in when we were dating early in our, you know, when we got together and uh, I went and ate some chicken and then that was it and to be honest the protein I know protein is good um, but I found that a lot of vegetarian options were so full of carbs and starch and um, cheese and at the time cheese really hurt my stomach and I just didn't find that there was a lot of options then, this, I'm talking 16 years ago, there wasn't a lot of options, healthy options for vegetarians, there's a lot of different options now, there's, the green diet is completely different now, um, but then there wasn't, and I found it terribly hard, oh it was, it was a smell, it was a smell, um, <laughs> yeah, oh you was a veggie for five years, pickle, what made you, just curious, what made you uh, turn back? You'd miss, you'd miss your roast beef. Ah, oh, you hate the smell of bacon. It's funny, isn't it? I don't like the smell of pork in general, but I loved the smell of bacon. Is it Adelia? Yeah, see, I'm just going to apply a little bit of water to the edges. Um, When I did turn vegetarian, as I said, in where I lived uh, there wasn't many options that was actually really nice there really wasn't and that's what I struggled with the most had that not been a struggle I probably would still be a vegetarian because I love my animals um it's funny isn't it uh but yeah definitely and it's funny because now I can taste salt I, you know really really taste salt quite a lot on my tongue and that was after I had surgery salt is just Oh, I'm very sensitive to it. So bacon's not something that I particularly eat often. I'll have it once in a blue moon. And um, it it was the smell that made me go back. Isn't it funny how these things like pop up? Hi, you Bev. <laughs> Mama's roast dinners. Oh, yeah, but you can do nut roast. Have you, um, did you just have nut roast? I just, do you know what my favourite thing on a, on a roast dinner is? The veggies, love the veggies and gravy. So I genuinely could not, I could eat that without. Okay, that's looking pretty much quite deep, isn't it? So what then I think I'll do, because it's going to be like that all the way over. I can continue to do it, but I'm going to try and do these for you. Um... I need a little bit more. I'm bringing a little bit of ivory black. Ah, uh, then I would be with you. Uh, if you, if I grew up in a farm, yeah, no, I couldn't. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my ivory black. If you have any buffering for a second, it's just I think the connection. Um, and I'm just going to very, very, very lightly put some on the underneath of these rocks. Now these rocks I want to have a hint of um, green ochre but we'll do that in a minute. So I'm just um, putting a little hint of the ivory black, literally a touch, because what will end up happening is I'll over, I'll overdo it. Just reading. Hey secret fan. <laughs> Your name, secret fan. That's fun. <laughs> okay. Right, so I've literally just gone on the underneath slightly. And then I'm going to pick up my um, my green ochre. Oh, what one are you doing in the ink house? I love that book. I do. I think it's a stunning. It's so unique, isn't it? The favourite thing, I think my fa one of my favourite pages, which I coloured, just went with distress inks, I went with watercolour, I went with pencils, was the two pugs, 
and I called him Elton and John because I did them in big red glasses. You remember in these days when he used to sing and he had the red glasses on? <laughs> yes, we are. Last night, midnight. Even though in London we were in tier four anyway. Um, but yes, we're back in lockdown. But we, we, we're we not going to worry about that. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to put them into the box. Remember if there's anything for me, putting caps. Sometimes I catch it if it's if it's in small, but it, it makes it more obvious to me if it's in capitals. It's alright, you can shout. I don't mind. Okay, so then like got all the detail in, and that's kind of how I want to do them. What I do want to do actually is give a little bit more texture. Uh so I'm gonna pick up my castle earth on my board. Oh, sorry, you're not in frame. Um, Castle Earth and Brown Olive 50 and I'm going to mix those two I'm quite literally just going to mix um, so it tones it down to this light mud and I just want a very very small amount just dab just so you have a bit of texture and then I'm going to wipe off and I'm just going to fade it out a bit so remember, if you dab, wipe off, dab again, you can uh, you can kind of just build up a bit. If you need to dab any of the other colour in, just bring in a little bit of the uh, yellow tone. And then if you want to, at the end, um, bring out a bit more pigment, you can just water it down and bring it out but I think that'll be enough on that part I think that's quite detailed um, so that will all be the same bearing in mind now we've got to do this bit so let's just dry that <laughs> Bev you'll probably be there tomorrow or the next day I will guess <laughs> yeah well shout out to the mums who's homeschooling you ladies are like superheroes, you're multitasking, you are teacher, you are mum, you are wife, you are everything in between, plus you, you know, you've got to put yourself in the equation as well, so yeah, you're all, um, you're all really multitasking at the moment, right, so sorry about my arm, okay, so I'm going to bring in some cold but green, and I'm going to literally dab in just in lines just a touch because we're gonna apply some water well I think I'm hoping this goes according to plan um so we've got to do those uh, other colors but let's just let's just go for it because don't forget these are meant to be a little bit more see-through so if we've got some of that whoopsie if I just put my arm in that Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me just move my tea. Well, I'm going to have a gulp of it, so I'm going to mute you for a second. I hate gulping. Ah, uh, take care, Pickle. Lots of love. Take care, hun. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to gulp some, some tea down. Right. So, this is the Colbert Green. And... The reason why I've done such a light application is because where this is meant to be a little bit more transparent or translucent, transparent, um, I want the other colours to show through. So we're going to dab in like we've got a tiny bit of a very light stone behind. So with that colour it's going to be... Oh, Cassie! That's fine. <laughs> you do what you have to do. <laughs> oh, bless you. Go, you know, that is your priority. Don't worry. This is always on record. I, I know you need your time now. I always say that, you know, go do all your things. But actually, part of you needs that little bit of a break as well. <laughs> so don't forget to put yourself in the equation. Because um, many humans, they, uh, they are your priority. But you've also got to schedule in just a little bit of time for yourself. Um, no, but I do want to do something in the ink house one day, so keep tuned. Okay, 
so you know that stone so I'm using that I want to water that right down so I'm just going to drag some colour over I'm going to wipe my brush off and you see how watered down that part is so all I want to do is just bring some of that in like it's behind you know so it's going to look like it's sort of behind it because it's it's not the main colour, the main colour is the turquoise so I'm trying to just dot in a little bit of that colour as well so I'm getting such a, um, a light application of it so when that's dry it will be lighter than that because then we can come in with some detail so what colours did we use last time? I can't even remember for the tail, I think it was um, light malachite green, malachite green, that one. And I think we might have used beryl. I could be wrong, but I think it was. If not, oh well, we're going to use it anyway. Uh, so <laughs> beryl green. So I'm just going to literally bring a touch of just like in, just like that. And again with my brush, I'm just going to drag some of that colour up. And uh, I'm going to do it in that part as well. So just a little bit of that. And the good thing with watercolour, you can water it right down. You can lift the pigment up whilst it's still wet. And uh, that will give it a little bit more of a transparent -y vibe so that when you put your your details in it does look like it okay same with that part as well so we're going to bring a little bit down into there see I want them as little bit you know as washed out as possible so that's going to be on all of them so exactly the same is going to be on those and these here and then what I kind of want to do as well is get my um my light flesh and just come through on the edge of those as well so, talking of light flesh, let's grab our, our light flesh, 10%, and I'm just going to drag it off the end of the pencil rather than lay it down, and I'm just going to bring in over the top, same here, so like it's sort of a merging from her skin into there and then we're going to get the white I did get myself some white poscas let's see if that <laughs> these ones behave <laughs> hi you queen kitten oh your name's so much fun <laughs> some of these names that you all come up with are brilliant okay um I think the one that I want to bring in is burnt sienna 50 and that was the colour that we use for shadows so and if you're wondering anyone that's coming in we're using uh, the museums by Karen Dash to uh, do this so that's going to kind of just look like it's uh, behind and these are going to be slightly in front okay right let's get our poscas once this is dry and remember I've never these are my first picture I've used with them so this is a learning curve for me just as much if I knew how to use a gelato they would be fun thank you um, they would be fun to do the background with but I don't know how to use them yet right let's have a go with a Posca <laughs> are we ready all right, let's grab one of our newbie our newbies to the to the party. Let's see if this works. Oh no, not that one. Is this one of the new ones? Where's my? I swear, if my head was not screwed on, it would be gone. Uh, is this the one? Nope. Is this the one? Nope. This might be. Did I put them in here? Oh my god, do lally. No. Oh my gosh. Is that it? 
No, these are like number three. I, I didn't... Ah, is that the one? Do you know what? Let's just use an old one. All right, Helly, enjoy your dinner. Okay. Do you know, I honestly can't find my number three, uh, my number ones. I don't know where I put them. Maybe they're in there. Okay. I'm just going to shake. Okay. So what I'm going to do, if this works... Hurrah! We have a working Bosca. That very rarely happens at the moment. That's like heaven. I'm just gonna see. I kind of wished I'd tried this with a whole by white first, because it would give it a much softer approach. Um, but I didn't. I went for the Posca straight away. Um, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put that in there as well. Sorry, I went quiet for a second. See, they'll look a little bit more, um, a little bit more transparent then. See, and then what I could do is when that's dry, is go over it with just like a beige, like a beigey tone, so it looks like it's uh, going to fade in a bit. But I kind of like it. Then what I'm going to do on our arm is bring in a little, just here. And if I was really, really brave, I could bring in a little few, like, scales. Let me just try it. Why not? Like, a few scales. But I might not do that. No, don't like that. Okay, the good thing, while it's wet, you can just rub it straight off. So, yeah. And then, you know, coming out of the tops of these, you can just, uh, you know, just play. That's what it's there for. It's exactly what it's there for. I like those dots. Yeah, yeah, you can blend it out. Right, bear with me two seconds because my pencil case exploded on the floor and I'm going to step on them. Hold on. I found a new pencil case to put my uh, Oscars all in. So I had this before. You might have seen it before. Um, so I had this like, let me just show you. I had this huge pencil case. Like, you can see how big it is. And I've put all my Posca pens in here. Um, so which is really good and I've got lots of colours as you know You, I mean if you saw my Posca stream a couple of years back I put them all in there and I could have sworn that I put my new ones in there but it doesn't look like I have uh, and so I have to find them I have to find them um, because my white ones are the ones that play. I've been playing up but it's okay we've got a workable one at the moment ah welcome welcome to the the family <laughs> as I said I'm not a lone channel I know I'm the host but this re this is live streaming channel so it's a community channel in every sense of the word hi Charlotte how are you doing how Sadie gosh she's getting big I saw your pictures I was like what I remember when you sent me a picture of her as a baby how does they grow up so quick it's crazy it's like bang they're already like how old <laughs> three two it is crazy. Okay, let's come to her her little pearls in her hair. What should we, what, I'm going to take colour suggestions and I'll pick one. What colour should we do these? Should we do them blues? Should we do them coral colours? Shall we do them greens? Not a dark green? I'll take colour suggestions. <laughs> And uh, that will be the last thing, and then we've got to do just a bit of background, which can be very loose watercolored. And we actually can uh, be a bit loose with the amount of water that we use. Blues, blues, lavenders. Throw your color suggestions in. Um, match her tail, so like greens. Blues, lavenders, greens. We've got one for each at the moment. I'm going to... Aww, match the towel. Okay, shall we go with like, um, I'm just having a look at my colours. So, this is a swatch. Oops, I need to do, you know, I was actually thinking about doing some more swatching in here because I just love this book. Um, so you're thinking, I'm thinking like the beryl green and the phalo green. These two, I think they're nice. 
so maybe more of the greens than the blue side so the beryl green the phthalo green and maybe the light malachite green should we do them so you've got this one and these two here i think they're nice we can we can mix up with those colors okay so uh beryl green oops sorry the phthalo green we've got the barrel green out and the light, these colors more than the blue then yeah so oops, yeah all right so we'll have a little mix because some of them can be lighter some of them can be darker so we'll start off with the darker one first out of them so we'll go for the phthalo green which i'll give you the number for this one 7110 because it's one i can't say um and i'm going to just go in the darker part first so all the dark parts just literally just a line because you're going to drag pigment out so we're just going to do this side first like that we'll see how that goes okay i'm just going to have my cloth at the side and i'm just going to uh work some of that outwards before I put any other colour in just to see how dark it is it's not too bad I'll bring you in a bit more okay there you go all right so just dragging a bit we still can drag more but I just want to get a feel for what colour we're working with okay And because that was super quick that can be quick doing that as well then I'll pick up my beryl green um, oh I'm sorry <laughs> Robin ah <laughs> uh, well I can lie to you and say that they're they're horrible but that would be a complete and utter lie um, but you know <laughs> and then the light malachite green is it called malachite malachite i think it's that's how you say it oh thank you charlotte and then i'm going to put a little bit towards that edge okay. don't forget we've got to do the working outwards anyway there you go so you don't need a lot of pigment in there because it, they're, they're so pigmented and then you can always come back in. So we're going to use those three little colours just to mix together. And then uh, we are darken up with the dry. So work your light away from the darks. Otherwise there's no point of having that. Um, I don't know if that's going to make a difference to you. Sorry. Malachite. Oh, okay. Malachite. Thanks. I love how you always like can tell me because someone will know someone knows it helps me because honestly sometimes I get them so wrong but that's okay we learn all right so that's the first application so we've got a little a starting point <clears throat> Now, let's go straight to edge of pencil. This is the phthalo green. I'm just gonna drop in the dark first. And whilst you've still got quite a bit of pigment on that brush, instead of wasting it, just go um, over to each one. The white posca is gonna be the little thing on these that's gonna change it um, let's go then for beryl green just going to put in a little bit of that as well it's not too much I think I want to bring in a little bit like primrose if I can on the edge or something to just set that off I'm just thinking um in the US, if you see it as CH, it sounds like K. Ah, okay. 
light malachite green. I'm just going to go on the edges. And then I think I'm going to bring in like another colour just to pop in there because I think it will look cool. Let me dry that off. Hold on. It's like the name Malachi, isn't it? I think it would be a really cool colour to put in actually would be... I'm going to bring in some apricot. Now, it might go horribly wrong, it might not be worth it, but we're going to have a little go at something. So, I'm going to do this dry. I'm just going to bring an apricot to the side of that. Um, I'm not going to wet that, I'm just going to put that in dry. It kind of gives it another little something into the mix. I just wanted to put in a little bit of that. Okay, and then I'm going to get my Posca. Unless I want to add any more detail. I don't know if it's gone really bright in your screens. Do let me know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come back to um, the phalo of a second. I'm just going to deepen up a little bit. And then we've got to work out a very splashy, watery blue background. Okay. Posca. white and I'm just literally going to go around the edge and I'm going to also why not I'm going to bring out an extra couple of dots and just have them like that so they've got a bit of apricot in them and a little bit of uh, of the greens okay so we need to work out now because don't forget that's all going to be the same on that side same we did with the same towel part here we're going to do that end and then what i did here with you i'm going to do that end it's the same i'm not going to spend loads and loads of time because we've got a swatch we still got a swatch okay now we have let's put these away uh we oh, i love the next bit um we have a very watery background to do and it's going to be very watery so i'm going to need a little uh i hope it doesn't mess it up but it's going to be like um where did i put that oh it doesn't matter um right so we've got genuine coal but blue maybe if i need to add anything i might add in a little bit of um ice blue maybe um, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a bit cold bit blue and light cold bit blue, okay. Right, let's move these, okay, so I've just got a couple of blues. I can add in some bubbles with a stencil if I fancy it at a later date. But for now, I'm going to grab my board, I'm going to be right back with you. I'm going to stick you on this screen for just a minute, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I was just trying. I just needed that clean. <laughs> You're talking about your halos that just isn't there. <laughs> of course they're there. Stop trying to tell us they're not. You can't hide it. 
even though you're trying. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so they're the three colours that I've picked up. Ice, light colbert and um, light blue. So you can see on the ends. I might pick up genuine colbert, actually. Yeah, no, forget that. Take out... Hey, your Hedwig. Take out light blue and put that one in, actually. So that's the colours that we're left with. Um, if we want light blue, we can have it. Um, so genuine Colbert light and light Colbert blue. I think they're the ones that I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to put down um, genuine. I'm not doing this on the paper because I can I can always build up. This is ice, and that's only if I want to put in a little bit more. And I want quite a heavy amount. Well, not heavy, large amount. Okay, so you can see how much on the board that I've got of that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's let's go for this first. So let's just focus you back in. You know me. I don't like doing backgrounds, but hopefully this is only going to be a little splasher of a background. <laughs> How are you, Joanna? A little splasher. How are you, Samantha? <laughs> My name's Sake. All right. So I'm going to go for the genuine and I'm going to put that into the top of the light Colbert. So it's got like a nice mix like that. Okay. And I'm just going to splash some with some water out of my barrel down into there. Mix a bit of the ice blue and see how we get on. So I'm going to literally just dabble in first. You won't see it much. I might have to add a little bit as we go along, but I can build up so it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to put in first. Now I have to be weary because where this is watercolour, I can drag pigment from other areas outwards, which is what I'm not going to. I'm going to try and not do. Um, so we're going to go through the watery bit down here. I'm literally going to pull out pigment so it looks like she's just like in a little bit of a watery haze. Um, so very light, very light, because we can always put more in. And don't forget, this isn't watercolour paper. So if I go in too heavy too fast, I'm going to make this like paper break. Um, so I'm going to wipe off and drag out. So wipe off, drag. And I'm not going to work in the same area while it's wet because I'll end up wetting the paper same with this bit so I'm just going to literally dab and pull and build up as I go along so when this is dry I'll come in a little bit more so I'll dry it before I put in too much so I do it that way because um, yeah I can easily put too much down easily And it's very hard to come back from too much, whereas it's easy to add to too little. So, like, if I add a little bit there, you can splodge that outwards. And I'm not going to drag and brush, um, so I'm just going to do it very lightly. Andrew? I don't know, can you hear his music just in case you can? Okay, let's put a little bit of that in there. And the same with this, because this is see through, I'm just going to drag a bit of that into the towel. Um, so this is, I'm only going to do one side. Well, no, actually, I might as well do it all because whilst I've got the colour there. Um, same with this bit, so I'm going to drag more of that down into there tiny bit of the ice blue we might add a couple of bubbles as well because I like bubbles she is underwater so we'll do them okay so we're just doing the very light application to start with obviously because I could see myself messing up big time if I didn't. Yeah, I don't like doing backgrounds either. And I, you know, I'm open about that. 
I never, I never, never, never been a fan. And it's okay, we don't have to like everything. It'd be ridiculous if we liked every little thing to colour. Some of us have things that we just avoid like the plague, like me with background. And I used to have a goal, as I said, of, of every year improving on them. And I kind of like left that now because I'm not too worried if I don't. Oh, I'm out of frame, so sorry. Um, I'm not too worried if I don't. I'm like, I'm happy with... If the enjoyment is without them, I'm not too worried about doing them. Okay, so I'm going to drag some ice blue into there. Um, you know, why stress yourself out in a hobby? It's a hobby, so I'm not going to stress out about worrying about backgrounds and becoming better at them. I'll just go with the flow. Okay, so as you can see, it's super light at the moment. Super duper light. It just has to be something. Uh, oh, gone out of focus. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I just not too fussed about, um, you know, liking everything anymore. I'm just like, yeah. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, then I'll I'll just won't do it as much. I'll do the odd one, but I might surprise myself. I might like gelato so much that I'll end up doing backgrounds more. But they're going to be simple backgrounds. They're going to be so simple. So you see how washed out this is to start with, because we can add. So I'm going to drag a little bit more of that ice blue. And don't forget, I've got to come back into this and just finish off the details, which I'll do later or tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to come to the watery section. And I don't like, I like blobbing down rather than like too much of that because what ends up happening. Okay, let me just um, dry that off a bit and then we'll start adding more, more depth into it. But I just want it, I just want it really faint. And the bubbles I think I'll do in, sorry about the, the washout of the black. Yeah, they do. And you know, I'm a fan of them because they're quick. <laughs> okay, there you go. Right, so now I need to focus on adding a bit more colour. So I'm going to bring in the genuine Colbert blue more. And this is the light Colbert. So just on my board. I've still got enough ice blue at the top. So now I'm going to focus on bringing a little bit more colour in. But again, not too much. I'm not too um, worried about bringing too much depth in. But I do want to bring it obviously a little bit more colour in. Because you've got to see something, haven't you? This is not going to be a bold background. As you know. As you know. <laughs> <coughs> Right, there you go. Again, ice blue, I might bring a little bit into there. And water is another thing that's loose. Like it's not, it's not um, at all uniformed, because you've got different waves and ripples and stuff, so. Hold on. What did I do, Wilson? <laughs> um, take care, Ki Oh, Nicola, thank you. Thank you. I was trying, I was waiting to see you. Thank you so much. Um, bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so glad I got to see you to say that. Oops. Because I haven't seen you around in a while. I hope you're okay. There we go. Right. So I'm dabbing, I'm dabbing. And I don't want a brush because the brush ends up ripping the paper. So it's just a dab dab. <laughs> Hiya, wheeling. Oh, look, you're another rebel. What's going on with the rebels? Rebel! <laughs> you've, got, 
you got another one. <laughs> okay. There was a book I saw on um, Amazon today. Ah, thank you. No, I was waiting to see you. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs> and uh, happy new year. I saw a, a, a book called Rebel Rose. Not Rebel Rogue. Rebel Rose. And uh, it made me thought, I thought of you straight away. I was like, oh. And I was looking on Amazon at books and it popped up in recommendations. Okay. There we go. So it's nice and loose at the moment and very faint. So this part of the top, I just really need to fade that out a little bit more with something really light. So I'm just going to, at the very, very top, just bring out, literally it's mostly water. Most parts walk to the tiniest part. And now we need to do some bubbles. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Okay. Oh, Lee. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but Rebel, it was just funny because, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, well, welcome on board. Welcome to the family. Are you, what are you colouring, Nicole? Okay, so with that now, let's get a bubble stencil before we do anything else because I just want to focus on um, just seeing how that will look on that side and then, uh, yeah, then we can swatch. We can see what the um, gelatos are like and the jelly rolls. I haven't seen the jelly roll colours yet. So I really want to do that. So bear with me, I'm just going to grab a stencil. Mm -hmm. Let's grab... I need circles, so I'm just looking through my stencils for the appropriate one. So I've got that one, that'll do. That's got a mixture. decorating okay so I've picked up I don't know if you can see um I need something dark can you see them the stencils it's like lots of different bubble sizes and um, so I'm thinking like the smaller bubbles on that side and um what I might try and do if it'll work is you know that ice blue I just grab a little bit of it and let's just see if this works it might not because we instead of doing lots of other colors um, when that's dry yeah that'll work look um, when that's dry then I'll get the Posca to it so again just gonna come to that bit of color there and I'm not gonna do like pe color pencil we can put some details in if we want but at the moment we're just focusing on just like that, just a few bubbles and then we'll come over here we'll do a bigger one it's only got some of that ice blue in it but if you've got some pigment left why not use it, we'll, we'll use it um, so we'll go for this one this one Instead of wasting it, we've got some some bubbles then. Ah, oh, Kenny, this I I get this from a lady called Silhouette Designs. Um, she shut for a long time, but you can buy bubble stencils on Amazon as well. And uh, there's so many. That, see, the bubble stencils are the easiest to get a hold of. Uh, other stencils that you need like customized, not so much, but these ones are nice and easy so have a look on Amazon because I got one off of Amazon as well if I can hunt that down I'll show you I think it's called the expressions one okay <laughs> okay let's dry that and then put a little bit of detail in it with our light 
Colbert Blue and our Genuine Colbert Blue. We'll put some details in our Posca because uh, we had them so we might as well we might as well go with what we've got rather than adding new stuff in. Right, so you see the ones at the side here, I'll do these for you. So you can see how faint they are and they kind of go in the background more than anything else. So I'm going to pick up um, Genuine Colbert Blue and Light Colbert Blue and a White Posca. Um, and I'm just going to very, very like lightly put in um, just a touch at the sides of it to make it a bit more 3D and then you can just drag some of that pigment outwards. If you want, This is if you want them a little bit darker. Now some of them I'm not going to worry about doing it to and some of them I will. So and then I'll put the light Oops. and it's the same if I want to do just on the edge and then I'm sort of going to just play with a couple but not all of them are going to have like a lot of coverage it's just some of them need a bit more depth some of them are okay as they are okay so it's just um just plan on what we got okay and then oh thank you so much <laughs> Adela, <laughs> yeah, that's why that one's brilliant. <laughs> it's different. It's lots of different sizes. Now with my Posca, it's kind of then easy for me to just add in, you know, little amounts. And you don't, again, you don't have to do it on every single one. But some of them I won't even put any colour on. I'll just leave them as they are because they're kind of like merging with the background, the watery feel. So you just uh, grab your Posca and literally just go around them, just like they're there. And then every now and then just grab a few little dots and add them into the background. Um, so we'll add a few here. You can add a couple of little bits. And uh, yeah, some of them will have like a need to be a bit more popped out of the water and some of them kind of mix in. And that's exactly how it will be. And then, if you look back, so I've just got to finish off the bits that I've already shown. So the other side of here and um, the other pearls in her hair. But now's the time that you can kind of look at your picture and say, right, what do I want to add, etc. And you know those little bits around there as well? I'm going to take them out completely and have, I said that, you know, before. But I had to wait until I'd done the wishy-washy background. Um, so I'm just going to take them out with Posca, literally just entire. So they don't exist. Okay, so now I'm just going to look at my, um, you know, any details that I need to add. And I'm just going to put a little shine down a towel. And... Her eyes are okay, aren't they? So we don't need to add anything into her eyes. Her eyes are done. Um, so if you want to add any more depth into her, just go back with the colours that you used. And I think that would be about it on her because she's pretty much done. I can take out that line properly now. How are we doing for time? Oh, that's okay. So it would just be the side that's to the water. Okay. All right. So that is probably done. Um, obviously, I have to finish off the bits that I've demonstrated, just like the second parts of her. Um, but if I come out, you'll be able to see her, and I'll be able to take the... Uh, the image off for a minute for you. I'll have to tape it back down after, but because I've still got to finish off just a touch. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I'm glad you like. Her. I'm glad I did her actually because I was really. I loved her as soon as I saw her. Okay. Right. So this is like a close up. So we've done all the detail. This is all done with museums. 
um, the skin, everything, and it's in three parts. So, and the towel, the de can you see the detail in the towel? And you know, I was saying to you about those little stones, how they look like they're slightly behind. If you want to add a little bit more, you can do. Um, so, forget that side. That's how the stones will look. Is that side with the detail? See how much of a difference it makes when you add details in. Um, there you go. So, and the bubbles, you've got the ones that wash in like that, and like the ones that wash in that side as well. So it all sort of merges in. And that's pretty much her in her in her entirety. She is a she's a cutie, isn't she? I'm glad I did her. I really, really like her. I really like her. I think she's a beautiful image to to um, have in her collection so this is from the 2021 calendar and it's the link is in the description for this for the calendar okay so I'm going to stick her back down because I still got to finish off those last bits <laughs> on my own and then I'll post her up on social media I've been so quiet on, on social media in general okay so that is we, well I'm going to name her Merida because she looks like Merida from Brave but that is that lovely lady right so next we will let me just clear up my mess and uh, we're going to have a little look at the swatches quick, very quickly so if you were here for the colouring and you don't really like all the swatching then that's absolutely fine I understand um, so let me just put these away and then I'll be with you um, but I will be swatching the where's that gone the jelly rolls first because they're less messy and then the gelatos I think what I'll do is half the gelato I'll cut them into like middle half the gelato I might do in uh, water or I might just do them as they are because then I'm making more work for myself aren't I um, but you can use them wet or dry and I've been watching a lot of videos on them uh, to try and get myself familiarised with them because they're a completely new media to me Okay, there we go. Let's move that out of the way. Ah, oh, hi Angela. Happy New Year, honey. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to be swatching first, which is the Jelly Roll Cosmos uh, Moonlights, and they are really beautiful colours. I'm going to take them out of the boxes once, like you know, once we've finished with them. I'm going to take them out now. Um, so these are the new set. Let's take that off so you can see. This is what they look like. I've put them in the description. And these are the Cosmos brand, um, the Cosmos line of Jelly Roll. And it's these colours here, so it's like more of a natural tone. Because you know they're, they're Jelly Roll. Jelly Rolls in general are really bright, aren't they? Um, so if you haven't seen a Jelly Roll, they're a gel pen, but they're like... To me, I love them. They're, they're the one gel pen that I will use. Uh, you know, if I'm going to use them, I'm going to use these. So you get different gel. Hey, Shell. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to be sorry. Uh, you've got Jelly Roll glazes, Jelly Roll, um, I think they're Stardust, um, Metallics. Uh, you've got Jelly Roll Souffles, which has got like a matte. Um, my most used is probably my glazes. Uh, you've got different types. You've got them. Oh, that's a glaze. Hold on, let me try and find. I've got quite a lot of jelly rolls because they're my favourites. Um, the soufflés are yummy. I love the soufflés as well, but they're brown. I haven't had the soufflés. Uh, these are the glazes, as I said, they're really nice. The metallics, stardust, there's so many you can buy. The brights, these ones are like really bright. They're the moon light ones as well, but they're like really bright colours. Not really colours that I use as much. Um, so, these are brand new, this line. They're these really beautiful um, colours. And they're quite true to the caps. So, we're going to have a little swatch of them in case someone was interested in them. And you might want them. And, as I said, this is at the end of my stream. So, I completely understand if you were here you know, for the colouring and not this part. Okay, so they haven't got names, so I'm not going to 
I'm going to have to written, you know, name them in my own time, but I'm just going to give you a feel of the colours so you know exactly what you're buying. And that's a good thing with channels, they kind of give you a hint of what you're buying before you buy. So it's a little bit like, it's easier for you guys if you haven't got something, to see something in action or swatch before you go buy it yourself. Okay, let's bring those colours. So that's like a, like a turquoise colour. Uh, this is like a green, so I'm going to be really quite quick with my swatching for you, just because, you know, obviously filling in a circle, um, but it's so you can see the colours more. So that's like a sage green, that's really nice. See, these are more natural tones. Um, in this 1D, it's thin, but you... For me, I don't need it any thicker for just swatches. I think the book itself outweighs the paper. It's like a copy paper. It's Amazon like Create Space. Um, sorry, that's more like a fur. This is more like a sage. So I'm not worried about being them super neat. Um, okay, this is like a grey. It's a light grey rather than... Like these are uh, silver, it's more like a dull cold grey, like cold grey too. That one's really nice. Yeah, it's a thin copy paper, but as I said, this is more for swatch this is for your swatches. And if you don't mind that for swatching, then perfect. But you can do additional swatches with water media on card on water media card. Um so you don't you know, and you can put them in. Um this one is called Moonlight. But it's called Cosmos. I've put the link in the description. So you, you don't, obviously it's Amazon UK, but if you want to copy the item description into your own Amazons, then you can. These are brand new. So they're brand new in their line. They're more of a natural tone. That's like a, a brick, sand. Oh, sorry, I've gone out of focus. Um, so they're good for like, hold on. They're good for details, if you're adding details into things. It's, yeah, it's a Moonlight set, but it's the um, Cosmos Moonlight, so they're more earthy. Okay, so this one's like, um, I have to get it going, they're brand new. Sorry about my hand in there. And the one thing about these, what I've never had too much of a problem with, is the rollable on them, but you have to get them going, obviously. So this one needs a little bit more working. But usually the roller balls on these are pretty good. I've just got to get this one going, guys. I'll come back to that one. Okay, so that's like a mud. Oh, I've never had a problem with jelly roll, I must admit. The best way to work with these as well is in small circular motions. This is like a dark coca. Um... So if you're doing like small details in pages that you don't want to get your pencils into and you want a multi-mixed media page, these are really good for that. Um, okay, let's go for our lavender. I need to sort of number these or something so I know what colours they are and then put a name. What I think I'll do with the gelatos is swatch them out in my own time just get a page of multimedia paper and have a quick go with smushing them and blending them and see how they work for me with some water as well and have a little go. Should we do that instead? Because um, I can swatch them in my own time. But we'll have a quick look on the multimedia paper. Oh, that's a nice blue. And then we have um, a really nice plum. So I just want to give you a feel of the colours because if it's something that you were interested in but wanted to see before you bought them, at least you got an idea of the colours. Um, I'm just going to have to move my hands, sorry. And I'll just go over if I need to. And then that's like a dark plum. Yeah, they're really nice landscape colours. And this is a really like Payne's Grey. This is Payne's Grey. It's not black. We've got blacks in the other sets. This is definitely a Payne's Grey. 
and I'll bring the camera so you can see them properly. Okay, so they're really nice colours. Okay, so that is the colours like in the set. It's a really nice natural tone. So this is more of a turquoise that you've got like a fur, you've got like a sage, you've got a dull, like dull grey, um, a cloud blue, a terracotta pot, you know, you can get out of the garden centres. Um, this is more like a brown ochre, this is coca, a lavender, more of like a, a nice sky blue, a plum and a Payne's grey. So they are a nice set. That is a really nice set. They are really smooth to apply. I was just trying to be so quick, so don't necessarily judge by what I do. But I just wanted to give you a feel of the colours so that if you are interested in buying them, um, you can grab them because they, they're not that expensive. I think this set was like £11. Um, oh, that's okay. Go, go call your mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> um, they're lovely and they work really well on black paper so you know how it's showing you on the packaging they work probably more vibrant on black paper so if you've got a black background uh, picture I just have to focus you back in uh, you're probably going to see the more like bold bright colours of it but they are really nice so they're a nice set okay that is um, that and let's have a quick look at some I've never used a gelato in my life I'm bringing you right up there you go um, so I've just stuck them with my others in there hiya Robin and now if you bear with me I'm going to have a little go um, the two of them come I've got two that still are on their way so these are the metallics and the pastels so I'm just going to have a quick go on a piece of multi like multimedia paper, the cans and multimedia. Um, I think that's probably best for me to do that at the minute so that I can have a little go. So bear with me. I've never used one in my life. And I've had a few I've watched a few videos today. <laughs> so and last night. So I think I've got an idea. I think I have an idea, but if I don't, then I'll roll with it. Right, let's grab a bit of paper. Um, okay, I'll grab this one. So this is quite thick, this paper. I grabbed the Artesia one, actually. So we're going to have a little play and see for a minute, especially with laying over a stencil what they can be like so um let's have a go with yeah why not let's have a go so i've got with anything that you buy new you've got to get a feel for them because you know we're not familiar with them so it's like anything you have to have a little play first and familiarize yourself Okay, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Right, so I'm just going to grab the normal pastel ones at the minute. I've just got a piece of watercolour paper. And this is my first time. So, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. It's like anything, you've got to have a little go with them. Yes, I'm handling a sharp knife. Don't worry, I'm safe. Alright, so this is the pastel set, and you get inside, you get the colours, you get a blending brush, and you get two blending sponges. One's super soft, one's hard. I'm, guess, I'm guessing this. Are they blending sponges? They are, aren't they? Um, but I've never used these before, so this is completely new for me. Now, if you've not seen a gelato, to me they look like chapstick. Um, so... A lot of it obviously is plastic packaging. Uh, let's see how much we get in a in a in a barrel. Okay. Oh not bad. So you get quite a lot. It more or less fills the entire plastic barrel, um, which is good. And they feel they feel like makeup, quite honestly. <laughs> so you get quite a lot. And the good thing about this is if you've got an art bag, 
and you didn't want like oil pastels hanging around in your bag you, you could have that in your art bag and it wouldn't go on anything um so that's good okay let's have a little go so when you're using them dry we're going to use one wet here so we're just going to smush on they are really creamy and we're going to use one dry right so let's just see i've never used these in my life before never okay so we're going to go with the wet first so i've got a bit of water in my pen and we're going to see how quick that pigment drags so they're quite a nice watercolor as well look so you can drag that pigment right out so they work really really well with water oh they're actually <laughs> they're so pigmented you can use them as watercolors now if we're using this dry let's grab quite a firm um, let's grab something firm. Should I try one of my little brushes for a minute? Have I got a, have I got a firm brush? Uh, yeah, we'll use this. Okay, let's grab one of these. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, where is Lozzy? I hope she's okay. Okay, now, I'm going to just use a dry, this is quite firm, um, and I'm just going to just see how that works if it works dry dragging any pigment out at all um so it needs obviously a lot more work but it can drag and it probably wouldn't i, I wouldn't actually put that on the paper first if i was going to use them dry uh what i think i'd do is do it on a board and do it that way um but it can if you if you're willing to work that outwards you can actually make a nice effect and blend those edges out but obviously a firm I would use a firmer brush actually um, so I've got a firmer brush come in now if I did that on a board um, and did that let's have a look so I've just got it on my board if I picked up some pigment off the board and did it that way that would probably work as well so yeah, you can do it both ways. But obviously you're not going to have as much of a pigment at all. Yeah. It is, that's, to be honest, they seem like they work even nicer when they're wet. Right, let's just try something. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my water. And you can, um, can you reactivate them? I just want to check. You can. So you can reactivate that. Um, which I wasn't sure about so that's good to know because if you mess up a little bit you can like reactivate and you can trip um, so you can reactivate them they can move now I don't know how that would work in your colouring book though because obviously your colouring book isn't going to have watercolour paper so they work both wet and dry now you can also, what I know about is if you use the stencil you can go over the top with that um, I've seen it done, you can mix them into a paste and change the paste colours, uh, you can go straight on over if you wanted to. So I'm just using a little bit of just one because I don't want to use too much. Um, so you can actually, if you wanted to, you could use like a stencil and if I suppose you can kind of work it how you want to, They're, they are they look quite versatile. Um, so if you wanted to, don't forget you're going to have this like clamped down but be careful <laughs> I've never used these before uh, obviously it would be a bit neater than that because I just dragged that up I would dry that before I do that but it works, it does work and as I said you can reactivate these ok so let's see what it says on the back of the packaging right gelatos these gelato crowns glide on a creamy vibrant color and blend beautifully with or without water they work great on surfaces like paper canvas wood texture whether they are painting stamping or spray they give you creativity so you can reactivate these i believe right let's go to the top a minute so if we blended two colors together let's do let's do those two just for a second let's have a look bear with 
think that's just to blend them okay let's try that so let's go for I'm only doing a little bit because you can blend these now you don't have to be neat with these at all I don't think I think you can lay them on and then you blend them out um, let's try the brush that's a good good question the brush that comes with it let's try that that's quite f it's not as firm though I'd, do you know what I'd say I'm going to get a bit of this I'm going to wet that and I'm going to see if that would work better or if it would take too much pigment up I don't know. See, this is playtime. I don't know how they work. That hasn't taken pigment up, but I suppose if you went over that again. If that would work. I'm just trying. Oh, it's for water. Okay, so let's. I've just got some water at the side. Okay. I just want to see. Well, they blend together okay. Um, that, my thing is very toothy. I'm just getting some water at the side. It's for water. So the sponges are more to blend, I'm guessing, at bigger areas. Okay, so they blend really well. I don't know about layering. So I suppose you could take some pigment off the stick then, am I right? Or could you go straight down again if I wanted to put a darker pigment down? I don't know. I'm just trying. See, this is a good thing while, you know, we're having a little go together. Okay, so I've got some water at the side. Let me just re-wet my brush. Ah, so they do, they blend out really well. And actually they seem quite versatile. Now, I don't know how that would work in a colouring book. I can go and grab one and we can use the back page. You can use a baby wipe for blending too. Thank you. See, you're, you're helping me. <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to blend those two together. Now, how would this work in a colouring book? Because I can do this on PDFs. But how would that work in a colouring book? Because colouring book paper is not the same. Okay, so... It, they seem like they work really well. I have to work with them a little bit, play with them a little bit in my own time, um, just to see. Hold on. Because how would that work in a thin paper? I tried to answer this really Um Yeah, Stacey, I don't think we're allowed to share them. This is the only thing. Um, I think we get in trouble. But... I think once she's taken them down, that's it, I believe. Okay, so what about dry? So would you recommend more doing them off the palette then? Um, okay, so if we do it straight off the palette. Yeah, Rita, we contacted her regarding uh, X freebies. And um, she, she said that they're not going back up again. Um, so yeah, it was a really, we're not allowed to share them. Okay, so it's the same as if you were to, but I'm quite curious, see, because I've got quite a lot of water media, so they work really well with water, and you can water them right down like you would a watercolour and, and phase them out, that's okay, so they work really well actually, so there's, there's another thing. So you can water them literally all the way down to nothing. So you can blend them out like a normal watercolour. Um, the one thing I am so curious though is how to use them dry. So I'll be more focusing in my free time on how to do that. Like this one here, down here on the blending ability of like with a strong stencil brush on how to really bring that pigment outwards. But they seem to work quite well with that. They just need to be dragged out more. The thing is as well, I, th I probably wouldn't put it straight to paper if I'm going to do that dry. I'll do that for palette and bring my brush over. But they seem to work really well. Okay, so I'm going to have a play with them. Um, and we'll have a go on a stream. Um, and probably, 
the good book that we can try that on actually is the ink house when I get the other colours because the colours that I want are in the translucent set so we'll have a go but they're definitely something that look like fun <laughs> I'm all about the fun so we'll have a go with these um, when the, the other two sets are due uh, the next week um, so I'll have a go in the ink house with these on a stream with you guys I think that would be a good one um, but yes I've had a great stream oops and thank you so much Debbie Debbie the doodler <laughs> you're so sweet yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna use them off the palette like you, Shannon. I think I, d I don't think that I want to use them any other way. I think it'll be more off a palette, but I can use them wet or dry. And what I want to try as well, I've got some paste. Um, you can change the pigment of some paste if you're card making. So I'm gonna have a go with that as well. But again, like with anything, if you get something, it's, it's gonna take a good few goes of having a little little play to get your feel with them. It's not gonna come first time. Um, but yeah, we might do want something in the ink house with them. We'll have a go um, because the ink house was one that actually pulled out. So they are the pastel set, and then I'll show you the. Oops. Show you the metallics. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, probably we could probably do that Saturday if I have enough time to play in the meantime. Okay. Uh, and they are the metallics so you get the same two sponges I will look at more videos obviously um, but the metallics might come in handy as well because these colors will go with the picture that I'm thinking of ah oh, thank you Benita um, but yes the definite the definite I will have a play um, so that is today today's gone really quick for me I don't know about you guys but it's gone so quick um, so that is the today's stream wrapped up. So we've done our lovely girl. Uh, that is um, the gelatos. And I'll let you know how I get on with them. <laughs> I'm going to be one of those people that's going, oh my God. <laughs> help. I need some help. No, I love, I love fun. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. All right. So Connie will be on in an hour. Um, She's got lovely new books from Japan. So if you've not checked up Connie, she has done some flip throughs of um, some lovely Japanese books, including the new um, Eerie book. Ah, oh, thank you. It's gone so quick, Kenny. Uh, two hours flies by. It really does. It really, really does. Ah, oh, thank you, Connie. Everyone, there's Connie, CB. If you want to go check Connie out, if you're new to the community, Connie is another lovely, lovely streamer uh, who will be up next. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much to all of you. Those of you that wished a Happy New Year as well, because I wasn't around. You're all very kind, very sweet. My heart absolutely melts at you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. And I will see you on Saturday. Until then, I'll see you around in other streams. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Stay safe. Stay happy. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. There's Connie's link. Thank you so much.